so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! Hello! Hey, it's me, Flippy. Hi, and I'm Mika. Yeah, and today we're at Village Well Books and Coffee. Yup, in Culver City, California. <laughs> yeah, and I bet this is a great place for us to find a book. Yeah, I bet you're right, and I'm so excited because I love to read. Yeah, I love reading too. Hey, come on. Yeah. Yeah, there really are. Hey, look, a book about dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and look at this one. A book about swimming. <gasps> Ooh, I love swimming. Me too. Wow. Hey, there's a book about monsters. <laughs> <laughs> the monster. They right. call me Monster Puppy. I do call you that. <laughs> That's so silly. Books about insects. Wow, cool. insects are really neat. Yeah. And did you know caterpillars will turn into butterflies? Hey, that's right. Yeah. Whoa, Mika, check it out. An all orange book with no title. Hey, that's one of your two favorite colors. Yeah, it is. <laughs> hey, there's someone else in this bookstore. Oh, wow. Who is that? I don't know. Let's go see. Whoa, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Akanksha. Oh, nice oh. to meet you. I'm Blippi. Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you, Blippi and Mika. Mm -hmm. What are you doing with all of these letters? Well, I'm a writer, and I was trying to write my story, but I'm missing some letters of the alphabet. Hmm, wow. you're missing some letters? Well, how can we help? Well, Blippi and Mika, if you can help me find the letters I'm missing, then I can write my story. Oh, we can definitely help you find your letters. <laughs> yeah, we can. Yeah. <laughs> Detective Blippi. And Detective Mika. Here we go. Whoa. 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 Detective Mika. Whoa. Check out Detective Blippi. <laughs> we look so official. I know. Whoa. Very nice. Ooh. Whoa. A magnifying glass. Whoa, so cool. Yeah, they're used to see really small things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like small letters yeah, in books. That's right. <laughs> Let's try it out. Okay. Wait a second. What is this page? What? Yeah. There's a piece of paper. What is that? <gasps> Maybe this is a clue to the letters. Yeah, hey, let's read it together. Okay. Every word begins with a letter. A letter here, a letter near. Look around, above and below. The things you find show you where to go. <gasps> Whoa. Maybe this clue is saying, if we explore the bookstore, it will lead us to clues where we can find the letters. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, I have a great idea. Why don't we split up and then we'll find the letters faster. Yeah, great idea. All right, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, cool. There's so many books here, but I can't find any letters. Hmm. Huh. <gasps> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, a camera! Woo! <laughs> yeah! Remember the clue? Yeah, it said a letter here, a letter near. Whoa, cool. So that must mean there must be a letter here that starts with the letter K, K, camera, C. Okay, let's see if we can find a C. <laughs> uh, do you see the letter C? Oh, yeah! Here it is! We found a letter! Wow! Good job! We found our first letter! <laughs> okay! Oh, books, books, books. Lots of books. Green books, blue books, orange books. <laughs> alligator! Whoa! An alligator! This isn't a book! Yeah! This must be another clue! Do you know what letter? Alligator starts with? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, alligator starts with the letter A. Hmm, let's see here. Let's see if we can find the letter A. Whoa! Cool! We found another letter. Whoa, now we have two letters. Wow, good job. Okay, let's see here. 
Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! A book about outer space? Cool. <laughs> Ooh, a book about whales? Wow, I love whales. <laughs> Whoa, check it out! Speaking of animals, here's a bird! Cool! 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 <laughs> this is a raven to be exact. Whoa, really cool! <gasps> I wonder if there's a letter around here. Raven. Yeah, Raven starts with the letter R. Hmm, let's see. Do you see the letter R anywhere? Huh. Oh yeah, there's the top of the letter R. Yeah, we found another letter. Now we have three letters. Wow, I wonder how many letters Mika is finding. Let's go! <laughs> Let's see if we can find some missing letters. Whoa! Look at this! It's a mural! Ooh, look at all the beautiful colors! I see yellow and blue and ooh, look at this red! Wow, it's so cool looking! Mural, that begins with the letter M. You know what else begins with the letter M? Mika, my name, and magnifying glass starts with the letter M. I wonder if the letter M is somewhere nearby. Hmm. <gasps> there it is, the letter M. <laughs> One of my favorite letters, M is for Mika. <laughs> Do you hear that? It sounds like oh, a snake. <laughs> it's not a real snake. It's a stuffed animal snake. Ooh. <laughs> snake begins with the letter S. Hey, do you think the letter S is somewhere nearby? <laughs> hey, here it is, the letter S. Wow. We found two missing letters. Let's keep looking. Hmm. <gasps> Ooh, look at these pretty flowers. <sighs> and they're nice and yellow. One of my favorite colors. Flowers. Flowers begins with the letter F. F flowers. Hmm. Let's see if there's a letter F anywhere. <gasps> Whoa, a big letter F. We found M, F, and the letter S. Whoa, cool. I wonder if there are more letters. Let's look, come on. Do you see any missing letters? Oh, let's look up and Hey! Hey, Blippi, you surprised me. Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey. What's the letter that hey starts with? Hmm. Oh, that's the letter H. <gasps> oh, the letter H is right here. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, and Whoa. it looks like you found some other letters. Yeah, it looks like you found some letters too. Yeah, I did. Hey, why don't we take these letters to a concha? Yeah, come on. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we found some letters. Yep. Hey. <laughs> Here you go. We <laughs> found all my letters. Thank you. Yeah. And it was so much fun finding them, too. Yeah, and now you have the entire alphabet. <laughs> yeah. And now that you have the entire alphabet, we're curious. What is your story going to be about? Yeah. Well, now that I've met you, Detectives Blippi and Mika, I think I'll write a detective story in the bookstore. Whoa! <laughs> Sounds like a good story. Yeah, it does. <laughs> hey, since we solved the case of the missing letters, we can get out of these detective clothes. Yeah, and we can dance to the ABCs. Whoa, good <laughs> idea. Whoa! Wow. That was awesome. Yeah, that was so fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for helping me find my letters. Yeah, of no course. problem. <laughs> See you later. Have a good one. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C's. Next time, won't you see? 
letters of the alphabet. Let's sing it again. Well, books and coffee. Yep, it really was. And we did a great job finding all of those letters. Yeah, we did. Wasn't it cool how all those letters made words? Yeah, and when you put words together, they make sentences. Yeah. Hey, I have an idea. Will you use letters to spell our names with us? Good idea. Yeah. Hey, can I spell my name first? Oh, yeah, sure. All right, are you ready? <laughs> B L I. P-P-I, Blippi. <laughs> Good job. Hey, will you spell my name with us? Okay, yeah. let's do it. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> All right, see you again. See you soon. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today we are at Southern Hill Farms in Claremont, Florida. This farm is so cool because they grow flowers and they grow fruit. So today I want to pick some blueberries, make blueberry lemonade, and find some beautiful sunflowers. I love sunflowers because they're yellow, one of my favorite colors. Come with me. that you can use to collect the blueberries in once they're picked. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, come down here, look at this. <laughs> Have you ever seen sand on a farm before? <laughs> yeah, you might not expect sand at a farm, but this sand that's really soft and fine, it's called sugar sand, and it's really helpful for the blueberries. With this sand, the water can drain quickly, which is super important because blueberries do not grow in a lot of water. So this sand's really fun to play with and touch, but it's really important for the blueberries. So I'll just leave that there. <laughs> do you want to pick blueberries with me? Let's go. Take a look at this. It's a blueberry bush or a shrub. Here, come a little closer. See, there's, oops. <laughs> a stem, and the leaves, and look, the fruit, the best part. <laughs> so, see how some of these berries, they're different colors. There's kind of a purple, a blue, and a green. Do you know which berry is ripe? <laughs> That's right, this one, the blue one. Those are the ones that you wanna pick. And ripe means that it's fully grown and ready to eat. <laughs> They're so cute. I know, we could pick 20 ripe blueberries. Will you count with me? Cool. So we have one. Hmm. Oh, here's another one. Two. Ooh, there's one down here. Three, four, Almost there. 17. 18. 19. 20. 20 ripe blueberries. Thanks for counting with me. See, you can pick them off of the bush or you can pick them up off the ground, as long as they're nice, blue, and ripe. 
Oh, this is gonna be really good in my blueberry lemonade. You can do all sorts of things with blueberries. What do you like to do with blueberries? You could make jam or jelly for a blueberry and peanut butter sandwich, or you can make a smoothie, blueberry pancakes, cupcakes, parfaits, juice. There's so much you can do with blueberries. <sighs> Should we keep looking at blueberries? All right, cool. Let's go over there, there's more. Wow, look, it's a baby blueberry shrub. See, it's much smaller than the other plants we saw, but one day it's gonna grow nice and big and full and have a ton of blueberries on it. You'll notice on the young plants, they have little flowers, see? <laughs> so cute. Oh, I see another ripe blueberry. Here, take a look. See how? Kind of looks white on the outside. That's called bloom. And bloom is like a sunblock for blueberries. It protects it against the sun so the blueberries don't get too much sun. Check it out! A really big yellow slide. I have to go down. Let me put my blueberries down so I don't spill any and I'm nice and safe. Come on. Whoa! I get it. You use the potato sack to go down the slide. See, you put your feet in here in the bottom, get situated, and then you woo, woo, woo. <laughs> oh, look at this. You must be this tall to ride alone. All others must ride with an adult. All right, let's see. Oh, I think I'm tall enough to ride alone. <laughs> let's check it out. Hey, whoa, it's really high up. This is quite the climb. This slide is gonna be awesome. Look how high we are. You can see the entire farm. <laughs> okay, only slide feet first. Okay, that was my plan anyway. All right, so you lay your potato sack down like this. Sit down and feet first. Feet will go in this little pocket here. <gasps> okay, do you wanna watch me slide all the way down to the bottom? All right, see you there. <laughs> Three, two, one, slide! Woo! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that was so fast. That was awesome. <laughs> all right. Let's put this over here. And oh, my blueberries. Oh, there they are. All right, come on, blueberries. And you come too. There's more fun things to do. Oh, check it out. It's a carousel. Have you ever been on a carousel before? <laughs> well, let's go. Blueberries down and go for a ride. Hmm. Oh, I love this horse. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this yellow hair. Oh, one of my favorite colors. All right, I'm ready, horse. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, on the other side. Wait till it gets to a complete stop before you get off the horse. That's the safest thing to do. And we're stop. <laughs> that was so fun. Let's see what else we can find here. Wow, this is a huge jumping pillow. <laughs> Come on, let's see. Whoa, super bouncy. Whoa, this is so fun. 
Can you imagine if this was really a pillow? Ooh. Good night. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> Whoa, let's see, what can I do on here? Whoa, I can do one of my all time favorite things, a cartwheel. Ready? Woohoo! Oh, I can also do a round off. <laughs> Whoa, hey! You can jump with me. What's one of your favorite jumps? You can do this. Woohoo! You could do it on the other side. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited to make blueberry lemonade. I already made a lot of lemonade right here. To make lemonade, you need lemons and you need sugar to make it sweet because lemons are pretty sour and you need some water. But I think we need one more lemon to go into this lemonade. So let me cut one here. I'll show you how you get the juice out. And remember, only grown-ups should be using knives. Okay, so cut this in half like that. And this is a juicer. I'm gonna add that to the picture that I already made before. Yum! Okay, and my favorite part, we have some juice from the blueberries that you helped me pick earlier. We washed the blueberries and we juiced them and now I have some yummy blueberry juice to add to this lemonade. All right. Whoa, <laughs> isn't that such a pretty color? All right, now we'll take a spoon and stir it up. Mmm, smells sweet and fruity. Hey, okay, think that's pretty good. And I have a cup here so I can taste it. I have to make sure it tastes good. All right, whoops. <laughs> and, oh, I should add some extra blueberries to make it really special. Mmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's really, really tasty. Oh, I love blueberries so much. Okay, so, I picked blueberries, I made blueberry lemonade, What's the other thing that I wanted to do? <gasps> Find sunflowers, that's right. I wonder if there are sunflowers around here. I have these binoculars. They'll help me look a little closer. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Where are the sun? <gasps> I see sunflowers down there. Let's get a closer look. Come on. Found the sunflowers. Oh, there's a really big one down here. Wow, it's so pretty. See, the inside looks like the sun and the petals all around look like sun rays. Isn't that cool? Like a big, beautiful sunshine. And speaking of sunshine, did you know that sunflowers are attracted to the sun? So if the sun is shining over here, a sunflower will look like this. <laughs> and if the sun is shining over there, the sunflower will look like this. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, they're so beautiful. So I think we did everything that we planned. Let's see. We picked blueberries, we made blueberry lemonade, and we found sunflowers. <laughs> we did it. Thank you for your help. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, 
Mika, and today we're at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. We are going to explore space junk, space rockets, and have so much fun. Will you come with me? Well, let's go. Hey, check it out, a rocket garden. Do you know what a rocket is? It's a vehicle that launches stuff into space so that we can learn about other planets and galaxies and stars. <laughs> hey, will you count the rockets with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And do you see the big one laying on its side? Nine, there are nine rockets. Hey, let's get a closer look. Come on. Whoa, this is going to be really cool. This rocket right here, can you see it? It's called the Delta II. Isn't that a cool color blue? Whoa. This rocket has gone to space over 150 times. That's a lot of times. And if you look at the top, you can see the American flag. And if you look even higher, it has a shark face. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? It's a shark rocket. Wow, it's gone to space a lot. That's a hard working shark rocket. <laughs> Let's keep exploring, come on. Shuttle Atlantis. Let's go inside and get a closer look. Come on. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> wow, it's so, so big. This is the Space Shuttle Atlantis. This space shuttle has been to space multiple times. And it's the last space shuttle that's been to space. And we're in the same room with it. How cool is that? Oh, come over here. You see the front part? It kind of looks like an airplane, but it's not a plane. It flies, but it goes all the way to space. And it's called the flight deck. Astronauts can sit in there, and there's all kinds of buttons and controls so that they can navigate through space. You know what's really cool and what really helps them navigate? Do you see those white holes? It's kind of hard to see. Well, those holes track stars. They're called the star trackers. Have you ever looked up into the night sky and looked at stars? Can you imagine if you looked up and saw a space shuttle? Whoa, that would be amazing. So cool to look at. There's a lot of different shapes. I see a red triangle up there. Circles, squares. It kind of looks like a puzzle. Huh. Wow, let's keep going. Whoa, check this out. It's a live video of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. We can get a little more information. Here. Let me move it so you can see it a little better. Is that good? All right. Hmm, what should we learn about? Ooh, the mid-deck. What happens in there, I wonder? Oh, this is where the astronauts do their cooking and eating and sleeping. They actually make food and sleep and live on the shuttle just like you do at home. That's so cool. And, oh, the flight deck. Ha, huh, there's some astronauts right there. View features, yes please. Oh, see, that's inside. You can see the seats where the astronauts sit and there's controllers and buttons and switches so that the commander and the pilot can control and steer the space shuttle. Whoa. I cannot imagine sitting in a space shuttle and not pressing all of those buttons. <laughs> that would be really hard to do. Wow. Hey, 
Do you want to get a closer look of a flight deck? Well, let's blast off and go. Ready? Three, two, one. Welcome to the flight deck. Oh, there's a lot to look at, isn't there? Well, the front part is called the forward station. And the back part is called the aft station. And aft means rear, so the back. Wow. Oh, I think I'm going to sit down. Whoa! OK, look at me. I'm Pilot Mika. Pilot Mika, getting ready to go on a mission. Let's go on this flight together. <laughs> Woo, I can press all of these buttons because it's just pretend it's not real. So let me just get that uh, ADI landing gear, get the nose in place, check the cabin, enable, pin, so one, two, three, power on, power on, power on, power on, power on. Here we go! I can see so many stars. Whoa. Being a pilot of a space shuttle is really fun. <laughs> Whoa, there's more buttons back here. Oh. It must take a long time to learn what all of these buttons and controls and knobs mean. I wonder how long it takes an astronaut to learn what every little button is for. Whoa. Huh. Kind of looks like something you would use on a video game. And there's a whole other side. Look at these screens. There's lots of numbers on these screens. Look, oil, fuel. What happens if the space shuttle runs out of gas? Are there space gas stations? <laughs> Whoa. There's more stars over there. Wow. Oh, I think we're coming in for a landing. Everyone hold on tight. Oh. We're here. We landed nice and safe. Thank you, Pilot Mika. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> hey, up here. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Blast off! Woo! <laughs> fast and really fun. Whoa. Hey, now we're at the bottom of the space shuttle Atlantis. This is really neat. We were able to see the top, but now we're at the bottom. Whoa, look at the wing. It's really, really big. Have you ever made a paper airplane? You know how when you make a paper airplane, you can make it to go really fast, or really slow, or really high, or really low, depending on how you fold the paper and make the wings? Well, engineers had to work really hard to figure out how to make wings that would soar into space. This is a delta wing. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> oh, come down here. That says United States. And the United States flag is right there. See? Red, white, and blue. <laughs> Whoa, come look at this. Whoa, do you know what this is? This is a smaller version of the space shuttle Atlantis. See, it's right there. It even says Atlantis under that American flag. So see the orange part in the middle right there? That is the external tank. And that's what holds all of the fuel to help the space shuttle go into space. And there's two rockets on the side. Will you count them with me? One, two, two rockets. And these rockets are rocket boosters to help the space shuttle boost into space like this, three, Two, one. <laughs> Let's look over here. Whoa! I bet you've seen these before, but way smaller. Yeah, and they're really big tires. And these tires right here actually went to space. <laughs> See? 
the picture right here? There's three sets of landing gear on a space shuttle, each with two tires. Learning about space is so fun. Come on. How big this telescope is! Have you ever seen a telescope this big before? <laughs> this is the Hubble Space Telescope. Do you know what a telescope is? It's a device that allows you to see things really far away. So, oh, like I can see the Space Shuttle Atlantis way over there. <laughs> but this one is massive and it's orbited over 300 miles from Earth, allowing us to see images of space. <laughs> In fact, this telescope has sent hundreds of thousands of images of space back to Earth. That way we can see what space looks like. And see these things on the side? They kind of look like wings, but they're solar panels. They attract the sunlight and then turns it into usable energy. This is the coolest telescope I have ever seen. <laughs> I love space. Hello, I'm a space shuttle. <laughs> I was so much fun today learning about space shuttles and space rockets, especially the space shuttle Atlantis. You got to go really close to a real space shuttle that went to space. What an amazing day. Thanks for learning with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. I'm blasting off. Three, two, one. Hey, it's me, Mika, and today I'm at Billy B's in Anaheim, California. My best friend Blippi has been here a few times and said it's so much fun. So I thought I would come here and see for myself. <laughs> I have my compass watch and my jam pack, so I'm ready for any kind of adventure. Come on. Oh, ah, it's a note to me, dear Mika. <laughs> And it's from Blippi. Oh, let's read it. I'm so excited that you are going to Billy B's. You're going to have an amazing time. I've put some things in your jam pack for you to play with throughout the day. You just have to figure out where to use them. Have fun. Oh, you put things in my jam pack? Let's see. Oh, there's a, hmm. oh, a chef's hat. Okay. Carrot seeds? Huh. And colorful ribbon. Interesting. <laughs> I wonder what I'm gonna use these items for. Well, only one way to find out. Oh, cool. And Billy Bee's socks. Let's play. Honeycomb Village? <laughs> Sounds fun. Let's go. Oh, cool. <laughs> Hey, look at this, a garden. Ooh, I love gardens because that means there's delicious fruits and vegetables here and I love to eat. All right, let's see what's in this garden. Ooh, corn on the cob. Mmm, delicious. Ooh, onions, two onions. One, two, yummy. Oh, do you know what these are? It's a root vegetable. That's right, potatoes. One, two. Oh, and I see a big potato right here. Yummy. Oh, this is getting me hungry. There's even strawberries in this garden. One, two. <laughs> Wait a second. Wasn't there something in my jam pack that belonged in a garden? Yeah, I think there was. Carrot seeds. Oh, this will go perfect in the garden. I can just, let's make some room, excuse me, food, excuse me, and put some carrot seeds in there. And you need nutritious soil and some water. 
and some beautiful sunshine, and then a fruit or vegetable will grow. Ooh, I can't wait to see these carrots grow. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'll take a snack for the road. Hmm, maybe I'll find a yellow snack. Like a huh, banana. That's a nice, healthy fruit filled with potassium. Hmm, let's go. <laughs> Did you ever notice that a banana kind of looks like a phone? Hello? Hello, Mika. Yeah, it's me, Mika. How are you? Good. What are you up oh, to? Oh, I didn't even know that this was charged up. Yeah, hi. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I got to go. I'm playing with my friends. Bye-bye. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, I better finish eating this banana. Hmm. <laughs> Peeling and... Mmm. Pretty good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Put the peel right here in the trash. Oh, and look, it's like we're in a little house. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Let's see what we have here. <gasps> ice cream in the freezer. And there's two ice cream cones. One, two. One for me and one for you. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, and the refrigerator's on the bottom. I wonder if there's any treats in there. No treats. Looks like somebody needs to go grocery shopping. <laughs> oh, whoa, there's food over here. Look at these two baskets of food. Hmm, we should make something. What should we make? See a lot of bread and cheese and... Let's make a sandwich. Okay, let's see. What do we have? What do we have in this basket? We have bread. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We have burgers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We have cheese. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we have tomatoes, please. Let's stack it. Let's stack it. Come on, we're gonna snack it. <laughs> Check it out. Burger, cheese, tomato. Ooh, it's gonna be messy, but it's gonna be yummy. Mmm! <laughs> Tasty! What else is in here? Oh, a really tiny soda. Oh. <sighs> nice and refreshed. <laughs> Whoa, look at this cool sink. Oh, looks like there's some dirty dishes here. Ooh. Ooh, we really need to clean this spatula. So, oh, here's a sponge. Get a little soap on there and some water. Time to clean. <laughs> there we go. Hey, when you're playing, it's always best to clean up if you make a mess. <laughs> Whoa, okay, let's get some water on here and <gasps> good as new. So clean. <laughs> I wonder what else is here. Let's go. Whoa, a pizzeria. Let's go inside. <gasps> wow, look, pizza. Ooh, I love pizza so much. Hmm, isn't there something in my jam pack that belonged in a restaurant? Let's take a look. Oh yeah, a chef's hat. Okay, if I put it on, I can be a chef. Chef Mika, welcome to my pizzeria. Okay, let's see, we have the pizza ready. Let me get one of these trays here and we just slide that on here. Ooh, good thing it's pretender. That would be really hot. <laughs> okay, let's put it together to make a nice circle for the pizza. Okay, who ordered the mushroom, tomato, cheese, and green sprinkle pizza? Oh, you? Oh, well, it's ready. Let's go to the register so you can pay. Okay. See, you've got the cheese and the tomatoes and the mushrooms and the green sprinkles. I'm gonna give it to you for free. The sprinkles are on the house. Okay, that'll be one million dollars, please. Whoa, thank you. Okay, Whoop. there you go. And here's your change. <laughs> All right, here's your pizza. Enjoy. Actually, pizza's 
sounds pretty good right now. And, oh, yes, I'm due for my lunch break. Okay. Whew. And that pizza special that you ordered looked really good. So I think I'm gonna have the same thing. <gasps> and there's one ready for me right over there. Ah, oh, it looks so yummy. Hey, will you count the pizza slices with me? <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, six yummy slices just for me. Ooh, and pizza's so fun because you can eat it with your hands. <laughs> All right, let's see. Maybe I'll put some, a little pepper on there, just a little bit. And ooh, some salt. <laughs> ooh, hot sauce. I love spicy food. Okay, actually. <laughs> oh, that looks really yummy. Okay, here we go. It's too hot. It's too hot. Okay, I thought I could handle it. I cannot. That's okay. We'll just leave it there for a second. Maybe I'll come back to it when I'm feeling a little better. Let's see what else is here. Come on. Whoa, look at this really colorful place that we can play in. Come on. Ooh, these are fun steps. Look, the color green. And this step's the color blue. And this is the color green. And this is orange and blue and green. Hey, there's a slide over there. Will you meet me at the bottom? All right, see you soon. Oh, I can't wait to go down the slide. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> that was really fast. Hey, there's something super colorful over there. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, check out the rainbow slides. <gasps> That must be where I'm supposed to use the rainbow ribbon. <laughs> Did you see that? There's so many different colors. And it looks like there's a ribbon for each slide. <laughs> Guess I have to go down every single slide. Are you ready? I'll meet you at the bottom. See ya. Whoa! Light blue, <laughs> here I come. Green, <laughs> yellow, <laughs> orange. <laughs> Woo, <laughs> red. <laughs> hey, we did it. We figured out where to use the items that Flippy put in my jam pack. We got to plant carrot seeds. And oh, I wore the chef's hat when I made pizza in the pizzeria. And the rainbow ribbons led us to these really cool rainbow slides. Oh, it was so much fun playing with you. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, <laughs> Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Peter Weber Equestrian Center in Rolling Hills Estates, California. And I'm so excited because today we're going to feed and care for horses. <gasps> and also, I heard there are some other animals here for us to meet. Come on, let's go explore. Howdy, y'all. It's cowgirl Mika coming to check on my horses. This rootin' tootin' town needs someone to make sure all the animals are taken care of. And I'm the gal for that. <laughs> okay, let's go get the horses started on their daily routine. 
I've been given permission to feed all the animals here today. Can you help me? Oh, great! I've got my bucket. Come on, let's go. Bye, Bobby. Hey, buddy. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <gasps> Whoa, he must be so excited to meet me. Did you know you can tell a lot about a horse's mood by the way his ears are pointed? If they're pinned back, that means they're not feeling very friendly, so we should give them some space. But if they're forward, that means they're looking ahead and it's okay to pet them. Oh, look, his ears are pointed forward. He must be ready for us to pet. Let's go. Hi, buddy. Wow, he's so soft. Did you know that a horse can look at two different... Yeah, that's right, buddy. He's excited to eat. Did you know horses can pay attention to different things when their ears are pointed in different directions? That means they're focused on two different things at the same time. But he's ready to eat. Let's feed him. <laughs> What's in my bucket? What's for breakfast? Hmm, what do I have for you to munch and crunch? <gasps> Look, we have some carrots and some hay. Let's go. Are you ready, buddy? Oh, wow. Let's try some hay next. Oh, great job, pal. Horses are herbivores, so they love to eat plants. Did you know horses don't have to brush their teeth? That's right. That's because their teeth keep growing and growing. And they never get too long because they just get whittled down when they eat. <laughs> really cool. <laughs> Buddy is a Palomino horse. Horses come in all different colors, like Appaloosa, Pinto, Paint, Black. I've got it. Let's go on a ride and find a bay horse. Come on, let's go. Check out all these horses. Okay, first we'll park Buddy, and then we'll take a closer look. Great job, Buddy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna dismount now. Now he's in. <gasps> wow, look at all these horses. They're so colorful. <gasps> Check out Happy. Hello, Happy. Is Happy a bay horse? No, Happy is an Appaloosa. <laughs> cool. Let's keep looking for our bay horse. Check this guy out. I wonder if he's a bay horse. Hi, are you a bay horse? No, that's a chestnut horse. Let's keep looking. <laughs> oh, I see another horse over there. Let's go see. Hello. <laughs> Are you a bay horse? Oh, no. That's a Palomino, just like Buddy. Okay, one more. Is this a bay horse? That's right. It is a bay horse. <laughs> Hello. I'm here to take care of you. <laughs> Let's walk him over to his stall. <laughs> there we go. All right, we're ready. Come on. <laughs> now that we're here, we should check his stall. It's important to keep a horse's stall clean from manure and mud so they don't get sick. Ha, ha, ha. Wow, it's spotless. Great job keeping your room clean. <laughs> Just kidding. Now it's time for some grooming. I'll grab my brush. Wow. It's important to clean off any dirt that might bother them under their saddle. We can also check for any injuries he might have gotten overnight. Great. Did you know 
that horses can run right after being born? That's incredible! It takes humans a lot longer to learn how to run. First, we learn how to roll over, and then sit up, and then crawl, and then walk, and then run. But horses can do it right away. That's so impressive. Must be because their legs are so strong. Do you need any lunch? No, nope, you've already eaten? Okay, guess my work here is done. See you later. Let's go check out what other animals we can feed. Oh. Wow, check out this petting corral. Let's see what kind of animals are inside for us to care for. Follow me. Whoa, there are so many animals. I see goats and alpacas. Oh, there's even a chicken. Let's see if they need some food. Come on in. Hello. Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Oh, it looks like he's ready. Have you had any food? That means, yep, I'm all full. <laughs> What's in my bucket? I grab my brush so your hair can be nice and plush. <laughs> okay, he's ready. Let's start brushing. <laughs> Brushing is important because it loosens any loose hair and dandruff from their hair. Mm-hmm. That helps keep their blood flow nice and healthy. There you are, friend. Great job. <laughs> You're all clean. You look great. My job is done here. Wow, bunny rabbits. Let's hop inside. Hop, hop. Keep hopping. <laughs> Check out all these bunny rabbits. <laughs> What's in my bucket? What's for lunch? What do I have for you to munch and crunch? <laughs> oh, lettuce! Bunnies are herbivores. That means they like to eat plants. And they're very social too, so they like to live in groups. Let's count how many bunny rabbits we see. One, two, three. Three bunny rabbits. Oh, they're so soft and cuddly. <laughs> and bunny rabbits, their teeth, they just keep growing just like horses. But it gets whittled down after they eat. <laughs> Well, our rabbits are all fed. Let's go see what other animals we can find. Oh, look at these tortoises. They're so cool. Are you ready for some lunch? <laughs> yes, I got you. What's in my bucket? What's for lunch? What do I have for you to munch and crunch? Whoa, he started early. That's right, it's lettuce. A tortoise's shell is really tough to protect them. They can put their head, arms, and legs inside like a cozy little home. <laughs> and these shapes, they're called scutes. Oh, that's a lot of scutes. Now that the tortoises are fed, I'll just scoot on out of here. Success! All the animals are fed, groomed, and taken care of. Thanks for helping me, friend. <laughs> that was so much fun meeting Buddy and all those cute bunnies, tortoises, and goats. They're all fed and ready for their day. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, y'all. See you later. Hey, it's me, Mika. 
And today I'm at the Columbia Memorial Space Center in Downey, California. Can you guess what this is? It's a real capsule. Mm-hmm, and today we're going to be astronauts and create a capsule of our own. Are you ready? Okay, blast off! <laughs> I'm so excited to be in a shuttle today and be an astronaut. Do you know what an astronaut is? An astronaut is a person that goes up into outer space to study the moon and stars and planets, too. I got it. Would you like to be an astronaut with me? <laughs> Great. All right. Let me dial Mission Control. Mission Control, it's Commander Meeker here. Mm-hmm. My astronaut buddies and I are ready for takeoff. <gasps> All right. Counting down in three. Two, one. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I can see so many stars and planets. I can see Mercury and Venus and Earth and Mars and Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn, and Neptune. <laughs> wow! <gasps> Did you know the sun is a star? <laughs> I know, so cool. Okay, let's go park and explore. <laughs> wow, check it out. It's a real spacesuit, just like astronauts wear when they go on moonwalks in space. <laughs> it's white with red accents. Oh, and the material is really, really tough to protect astronauts when they're in space. And look at this helmet. This is so astronauts can breathe oxygen out in space. I want to get inside. Come on. Hi, I'm an astronaut. <laughs> wow. Oh, an asteroid. I can see so many stars and planets up here. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! I have a flight suit of my own. <laughs> I'm astronaut Mika, and I'm ready to explore space. Are you ready? <gasps> vroom, 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 zoom, 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 let's go! <gasps> this is a robotics lab. This is where scientists called engineers code a rover. A rover is a big truck that moves along a planet's surface and takes pictures of rocks and dirt. And the cool thing is it's controlled by a scientist on Earth. That way they can learn about what a planet is like. Come on, let's go code a rover. Coding the rover means I'm planning out how it'll move on the planet. Okay, I'm setting up this rover to take lots of pictures of Mars and pick up a rock. Okay, now that it's set, let's place it on the table. <gasps> Whoa, this rover reminds me of an excavator. It picks up rocks instead of dirt though. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, let's hope the rover picks up this rock. Here we go. Not quite. Let's try again. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> Yay! We did it! We taught the rover how to pick up a rock. Now scientists can use these rocks to discover different things about the planet, like how big it is, how old it is, and what can survive there. <laughs> cool! Let's go! This is where we can build our own capsule, just like Apollo 11. Let's get our supplies. First, we'll need two pieces of black yarn. One, two. Next, we need a cardboard capsule. Then 
we need a sheet of tissue paper. <gasps> there are lots of different colors in here, but I'm gonna pick yellow, just like my headband. A capsule is a piece of the rocket that the astronauts use to come back to Earth in. We're punching some holes in there. Awesome! Two holes punched in our capsule. Now we'll punch some holes in our tissue paper. One hole. And two. Awesome! Next, we'll take our black yarn and we'll loop it through the holes. Oh, I bet my best friend Blippi and I would have a great time in one of these. <laughs> I love traveling through space with my best friend. Okay. <laughs> okay, one last step. Take our silver handle and put tape it on top. Now I need two pieces of tape. One. Two. Now we have our capsule and we're ready to launch. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. <gasps> Quit it. We did it. Awesome! Safe landing. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mission Control. We did it. We went all the way into outer space and now we're safe back on planet Earth. We were really busy exploring space and when it was time to come back to Earth, we landed safely in our parachutes. I just want to thank all the scientists for their hard work. And I especially want to thank my best friend, Blippi, for always believing in me and my mission. <laughs> now let's go see what other things we can make fly through the air. Come on! <gasps> Check it out! An airplane building station. That's right! Airplanes fly through the air, too. Okay. I'll start with a sheet of paper, and then I'll fold it in half. Paper airplanes help us understand how real airplanes fly through the sky. Oh, look, I just made a triangle. See? <laughs> Triangles have three sides. All right, fold it one more time, and another time on this side. And look, we have an airplane. Whoa! Let's go! Oh, we made it to the launching pad! The shape of the wings is what makes it possible for an airplane to fly. When the wings are flat and then curved at the end, air pressure can sit on top of the plane, which makes it possible to fly through the air. Okay. Let's make sure our launching pad is lined up just right. There we go. So we'll put the plane here, and we'll push this green button. In three, two, one. Wow! Look at that airplane go! <laughs> Check it out. I'm in a science lab. Astronauts are scientists, too. That's because they do experiments when they're exploring on the moon. An experiment is when you try something new to see what will happen. Sometimes you need a parent or an adult to help you. I've got it. Let's do an experiment and learn together. Will you help me with my ooey gooey experiment? <laughs> Great. Let's start off with a quarter cup of water. Splash! And then we'll add a quarter cup of sticky, ooey, gooey glue. 
Now we'll have to take our popsicle stick and stir, stir, stir. Stir, 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 stir it up. Stir up that glue. Stir, 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 stir it up. I love to experiment with you. <laughs> okay, we gotta get our glue and water all mixed in. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, we're ready to add our glitter. And guess what? It's my favorite color, purple. Wow, so pretty. Looks very stellar. <laughs> okay, we have our purple glitter, and now we're gonna add a quarter cup of starch. And that'll make it extra, extra sticky. Wow. Do you see it? It's forming in one big lump. Wow. Oh, okay, I think it's almost ready. I think we're ready to touch it. Ooh, it's so sticky and ooey gooey. <laughs> I've got it. I'll name my slime hmm, Lunar Slime. <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring space with me today. We wore a spacesuit, we coated a rover, and we created our own capsule and watched it float back down to Earth. That was cool. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> All right. See you later. Bye-bye. Beep, beep. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Dig It in Torrance, California. They have so many cool construction toys here, like excavators and conveyor belts. Oh. I'm going to pretend to be a construction worker. But first things first, safety first. I'll put on my hat and my safety vest. <laughs> Will you pretend to be a construction worker with me? Great, come on. <laughs> I'm at my first construction vehicle. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> I'll give you some hints. It has two arms and a bucket. <laughs> That's right, it's a front loader. <gasps> Check it out. <gasps> okay, let's see how it works. Oh, start engine. Start. <gasps> wow. <laughs> let's honk the horn. Turn on my lights. And check out these pedals. Whoa! This is so cool. <laughs> okay, let's park. <laughs> that was awesome. Ooh, and look at these big tires. Black and yellow. One of my favorite colors. Oh, let's see what this does. Spin, spin, spin. Whoa. So cool. We can roll it around. This is a big circle. Easier for rolling. <laughs> and these are called treads. They help the wheel get traction. <laughs> and check this out over here. Wow! It's like a construction site. And there are three construction vehicles. Red, 
green, and blue. Oh, and it's a puzzle. The goal is to get each car to its site. This one is for the blue car. Okay, let's see if we can get it over. Hmm. Da, da, da. Hmm, best way to get there. Excuse me, Red. Da, da, da. Oh, I have to go up there. Excuse me, Red. You go down there. Da, da, da. <laughs> we made it. Okay, let's try for Red. <laughs> da, da, da. Which way will we go? Huh, no, that's not the right way. <laughs> da, da, da. Oh, we made it. Okay, one more vehicle to go. Da, 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 da. Oh. Whoa, we did it. We matched all the vehicles. That was so awesome. Oh, check it out. I see something cool over there. Let's go. Whoa, check out this building. It's pretty tall. Oh, and it has a lot of great shapes. Do you know what this shape is? That's right, a triangle. And this shape? Circle, great job. Put this triangle on top. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Hey, let's use this pipe wrench to make sure everything is tight. Nice and tight. <laughs> Great! I have another wrench in my jam pack. This one's called a crescent wrench because of the shape on top. <laughs> it kind of looks like a moon in the sky. <laughs> Okay, let's take our tools and see what needs fixing over here. Whoa, check out these big blue buildings behind me. <laughs> so tall. Hey, let's make an M together. Oh, and look, I have the perfect shape for that. Don't they look like rainbow arches? <laughs> yeah, okay. Awesome! Now I have a second rainbow arch. <laughs> wow! An M for Mika. <laughs> Job well done. Okay, our project is constructed and finished. On to the next one. We made it to the cement truck. Mix it up, mix, mix it up. Mix it up, mix, mix it up. Wow. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> whoa. Hey, this looks like a hamster wheel. That's a wheel that little hamsters and other animals use to run around and get their exercise in. But in construction, this wheel is used to mix cement. It turns it around and around and around, mixing it all together. Should we try it? Should we be cement that gets mixed and mixed and mixed together? <laughs> yeah, let's give it a try. <laughs> that made me a little dizzy. Whoa. Spin, spin, spin like a cement truck. Spin, spin, spin like a cement truck. <laughs> I saw a lot more cool things to do here while I was spinning. Come on, let's go learn more about construction vehicles. Beep, beep, beep. Burr. <gasps> we made it to our next construction vehicle. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you some clues. It has an arm and a boom and a bucket. That's right, it's an excavator. <laughs> Excavators are used to dig things up. Sometimes it's dirt, but this excavator digs up balls. Okay, we have to stay out of the construction zone, okay? <laughs> oh, here we go. 
Yay! <laughs> awesome. Let's try it again. <laughs> We dug up a lot. Our job here is done. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Look, it's a conveyor belt. A conveyor belt helps construction workers move things from one spot to another so that they don't have to carry them. <laughs> Great. Oh, and look, check it out. Look at all these bricks. <laughs> They're rectangular. See the shape? <laughs> and do you know this color? <laughs> yeah, brown. Oh, and there's another shape too. Can you see it? <laughs> right, circles. Let's count the circles. One, two, Three, great job. Mmm, <gasps> this kinda reminds me of chocolate. Let's pretend that these are chocolate pieces and we want to move them way up there. Come on, let's check it out. Okay, let's put them on the conveyor belt. Mm-hmm, <laughs> great. Ready, little chocolates? <laughs> turn, turn, turn. Whoa! Wow! I have to keep turning, have to keep turning. <laughs> Whoa, let's get them all the way to the top. There they go! <laughs> yeah! Okay, now we're at the top. At the bottom, we put the chocolate bricks onto the conveyor belt and we turn the wheel, turn the wheel, turn the wheel until they went all the way to the top. And look, this is where they landed. Oh, more bricks are coming. Check it out. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready to go down the slide. I'll see you at the bottom. That was so much fun. Whoa, what's this? Hmm, kind of looks like a bucket. Oh, check it out. When I pull this one down, that one goes higher. Oh, it's a pulley system. It helps get things from one place to another, just like a conveyor belt does. <laughs> Maybe I can send my friends some lunch at the top. But since I don't have lunch, let's see what I have in my jam pack. Oh, look, a little construction vehicle. Let's put it in the bucket and send it up. <laughs> Ready? Here you go. <laughs> so cool. Let's put something in this bucket too. Let's see what I have in my jam pack. Are you ready? <laughs> ready? In you go. Have fun. Woo! <laughs> wow! Now the tiger is going up high. And now it's coming down low. <laughs> now it's going up high. <laughs> and look, our construction vehicle is on the other side. <laughs> wow! Being a construction worker is a lot of fun. Okay, let's drive away. Wow, a tractor race. Since I'm all done with my construction work, let's go on a tractor ride. 
Whoa, 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 in my big tractor. Go, 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 in my big tractor. Beep, beep, backing it up. Vroom! So much fun! <laughs> Thank you so much for being a construction worker with me today. We rode a big front loader and we pretended to be cement mixing around in a cement mixer. Then we used the little excavator to dig up a ball pit. Oh, whoa! We did a lot today. Now it's time to hang up my vest and roll on out of here. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. See you later. Me, Mika, and today I'm at Children's Fairyland in Oakland, California. And I'm riding the Wonder Go Round! Woohoo! Giddy up! <laughs> Do you wanna meet some of my friends? All right, let's go! This is the Dodo. Hello, Dodo. Hello, Mika. Oh. <laughs> oh, and this is the Mad Hatter. <laughs> oh, and the Griffin. I love the Griffin's purple wings. And this, I bet you recognize this animal. See those tusks? It's the walrus. Hello, walrus. Hello, Mika. <laughs> I really want to go on my own adventure. Will you come with me? All right, giddy up. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Check out this giant blue whale. This is Willie the Whale to be exact. Hi, Willie the Whale. I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Big blue whales are really cool and they're the biggest mammal on the planet. Whoa. Hey, Willie, do you mind if I come inside? All right, let's go. Wow. Look, there is a note inside of Willie's mouth and it says, Mika, that's me. Okay, <clears throat> your Storyland adventure starts here. So get up and on your feet. Use your five senses to explore Fairyland. You'll make friends and find a yummy treat. Oh, I love making new friends and I really like treats. This is gonna be so much fun. Okay, five senses. That's seeing, smelling, hearing, touch, and taste. So we will see with our eyes and we'll smell with our noses and hear. Oh, can you hear any sounds? Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> and there's taste with your mouth and touch with your hands, with your skin. Oh, this is gonna be really, really fun. I just know it. Hey, let's swim like whales on out of here. Ready? Water's something fun to feel, and that's one of our senses. Okay, let's see. I wonder if the water is hot or cold. Let's touch it and find out. Whoa! It's very, very cold. Wow! But hey, that's one of our senses. I touched the water. <laughs> well, that water would not be fun for me to swim in, but a big whale would love to swim in that cold water. Can you think of other animals that like to swim in cold water? Maybe a seal? <laughs> or a walrus? <laughs> or <gasps> a penguin! Let's waddle like penguins out of here and find some other things. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle. Do you hear that? Quack. Quack. Yeah, I 
hear a duck. Wow, so we used feeling and now we're using hearing. That's two senses. Do you see any ducks? Back there on the other side of the water. I see one, two, three ducks. Hey, and they're hanging out around Rapunzel's tower. Hi, Rapunzel. See, she's at the very top and her hair's so long. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the tower. <laughs> oh, and hey, it's Mr. Todd, the fox from Tales of Beatrix Potter. Hi, it's me, Nika, do you remember? It was a long time ago, it's okay. <laughs> oh man, ducks are so cool. Did you know that they eat seeds, and fruit and worms. <laughs> oh, but remember, do not feed ducks without getting permission. <laughs> I'll see you later, ducks. Let's see what else we can find. Come on. Quack, quack. Hey, we already used two of our senses, feeling and hearing. I wonder if we can smell anything. Let's try. Actually, Smell something really good. I bet it's these flowers. Let's see. Oh yeah, they smell so good. Did you know that flowers smell good to attract pollinators like butterflies, hummingbirds, even ladybugs and bumblebees? Yeah, they're attracted to the flower, so they'll fly over and get some pollen on them and then fly to another flower and spread that pollen around, which plants more seeds, which creates more plants for all of us. So thank you, pollinators. <laughs> hey, I wonder if we can see anything. Let me go into my jam pack and get my <laughs> binoculars. Ooh, I see a tunnel over there. Let's go check it out. Come on. Where is that tunnel? Oh. Look at that silly clock. It's going the opposite direction. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, where is the tunnel? I see it. <laughs> and I also see the white rabbit from the book Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> the white rabbit is always in a hurry. And look, there's a little clock right there in its pocket. Hi, white rabbit. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Should we hop in the tunnel together? Okay, ready? Three, two, one, hop! Hey, I see giant playing cards. Seeing is another sense. We explored feeling, smelling, and hearing, and now we can explore seeing. Ooh, you wanna check out these cards with me? Come on. Whoa, I see the letter A. And do you know what shape this is? Yeah, it's a heart. And there's a big giant heart right there. Oh, it's like it's singing. Yes, I have a giant heart. That is so sweet. Oh, look at this one. I see the number. Two, that's right. And do you know what shape this is? That's a spade. Correct, Mika, that is a spade. Oh, I thank you so much. Ooh, and I see the number four. Do you know what shape this is? It's a diamond, cool. Yes, a diamond is my favorite shape. Oh, good to know. <laughs> Whoa. I see something really cool over there. Do you wanna check it out with me? Well, let's go. Whoa, do you see what's behind me? Giant apples. Look, there's a red one and a green one. Oh, and this one has a worm inside. Hi, worm, it's me, Mika. <laughs> You know, red apples usually taste sweet and green apples usually taste a little sour. <gasps> hey, taste, that's the fifth sense. We explored all five senses. Oh, that means that I get a treat. Will you help me look for it? 
Okay, let's go. Oh, excuse me. Have you seen a treat for Mika? Something yummy you can eat like a... Mm -mm. Okay, no? All right. I found the treat. Oh, boy. Wow. It's a cupcake. Check it out. With yummy icing on it. Ooh. Oh, and a note. Let's see here. Oh, it says for Mika. <laughs> That's me. Great job exploring your five senses and finishing your adventure. Enjoy this yummy treat. Hope you had fun. Your friend Blippi. Oh, Blippi is such a great friend. He knows that I like playing games and eating yummy treats. <laughs> hey, we explored all five senses. Seeing, hearing, feeling, smelling, tasting. Oh, now I get to taste the cupcake. Let's see here. Mmm, it's so good! Hey, we did it! We did it! We never ever quit it! We did it! We did it! We never ever quit it! <laughs> what a fun day we had! We went on a really cool adventure using our five senses! <laughs> Thank you so much for playing and learning with me. I loved learning that the blue whale is the biggest mammal on the planet. Oh, it must take up so much space in the ocean. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Montebello Barnyard Zoo in Montebello, California. <laughs> and I heard they have animals here <gasps> and a fairy village. <laughs> so I'm going to be a fairy and grant wishes to any animals or fairies I see. I have my fairy wings on and my magic fairy wand. <laughs> Will you help grant wishes with me? Awesome! Hmm, let's go find that fairy village. <laughs> Hey, horsey, I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> We're looking for fairies. <gasps> hey, should we grant this horse a wish? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I need some space. Mika's here with the plan. Your fairy wish is my command. <laughs> Look, horse food. <laughs> here you go, horsey. Your wish is granted. <laughs> okay, see ya. I haven't seen any fairies yet, but check it out. Goats. Hello, goats. I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Ooh, did you know goats have four stomachs? <laughs> yeah, that's why they're so hungry. <laughs> Do you know where the fairies are? Okay, let's keep going east. I haven't found those fairies yet. Oh, but I have a great idea. Check it out, a tractor. Let's go on a ride to the fairy village. Hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet ya. <laughs> Can you take me east to the fairy village? Yep. Oh, great. Come on, let's take a seat. This looks like a great seat for a tractor ride. Oh, here we go! Whoa! There's so many animals. Hi, llamas! Oh, look! There are three llamas. <laughs> they look so cozy in all that fur. Oh, and look! An emu! That's a flightless bird from Australia. <laughs> Whoa, it's a bumpy ride. <laughs> oh, and look, some horses. Hello, horse. <gasps> look, a merry-go-round. Oh, that looks like so much fun. Okay, focus, focus, we're looking for fairies. That could be pretty fun. Maybe later. I think we're getting closer to the fairy village. Oh, I can't wait to 
meet so many fairies. <laughs> yeah! We finally made it to the fairy village! We did it! We did it! We never ever quit it! We did it! <laughs> Great job! Whoa! Check it out! Look at this! Oh, it's a little forest for fairies! And look! A table and chair for their yummy lunches! Oh! And they got lots of fresh fruits and vegetables! <laughs> oh, and a bridge over glittery water. And a squirrel. <laughs> Hello, squirrel. Let's keep exploring. Whoa. Look, a door. Hmm, I wonder where it leads. Let's knock on it. Knock, knock, knock. Is anybody home? <laughs> oh, just a little gnome. Hello. <laughs> oh, and look, more fairies. Hello, little fairies. I'm Mika, nice to meet you. <laughs> Since you're always doing so much for people, like sprinkling fairy dust and collecting teeth and gems, do you need anything? <gasps> oh, you would like a home? <laughs> Lucky for you, I'm really crafty. I know just what you need. Mika's here with the plan. Your fairy wish is my command. <laughs> Coming right up. <laughs> Let's go. <gasps> we need to build our fairies a little home. <gasps> hmm. I have just the trick. Mika's here with the plan. Your every wish is my command. <gasps> Whoa! Look at this house. This is a perfect house for a fairy. Are you ready to paint our fairy house? <laughs> yeah, me too. Wow, there are so many colors for us to choose. Blue, green, like grass, pink, purple, and yellow. And check it out. My two favorite colors are together. We should definitely start with those. Grab my paintbrush. Oh, do you know what this color is? <laughs> That's right, pink. Dip it in water first and dip it in the purple paint. This will be such a cozy home for the fairies. I hope they like it. <laughs> okay, let's do yellow next. Yellow, just like the sun. That looks so pretty. <laughs> and bright too. Okay, we got the front. Let's work on the roof. I think I'd like the roof to be blue, just like the sky. Let's do pink with our pink paintbrush. Almost done, check it out. Oh, such a beautiful fairy home. Let's do the sides now. Hmm, what color haven't we done yet? <gasps> green. Let's put some green on our house. Dip my brush. <gasps> check it out. This is such a beautiful, colorful fairy home. <laughs> Let's go see if they love their new house. <laughs> Hello, little fairies. We made you a beautiful, colorful home. <laughs> Hope you like it. What's that? You love it? Oh, that's great news. Do you have everything you need? <gasps> oh, you would like us to help you collect gems? Oh, okay. I got it. Mika's here with the plan. Your every wish is my command. Wow! Great idea. Let's go collect some gems for our fairy friends. See you soon. 
We made it. <laughs> Let's go get some stones for our fairy friends. <laughs> oh, look. These are the different stones we can find. Amethyst and calcite. Whoa, I wonder how many stones we'll find. Ooh, water. All right, I have my mining tray. Do you know what this color is? That's right, it's yellow, one of my favorite colors. And it's round, just like a steering wheel. <laughs> this helps us sift through all the dirt. So we get rid of what we don't want, the dirt, and then we get our crystals inside. Ready to give it a try? <laughs> Great. Whoa, check out this dirt. Check it out. Look how many gems we got. Ooh, I think this one is rose quartz and it's pink. Pretty. Check out this one. Wow. And this one is black. <laughs> And little, let's count how many gems we found. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven gems for our fairy friends. Let's go give them to our fairy friends. <laughs> Here we go. Sorry, little fairies. We collected all the gems so you can rest and relax. <laughs> you get a gem. And you get a gem, little froggy. <laughs> and you get a gem, too. <laughs> oh, would you like a gem, too? Okay, I have plenty to share. Oh, I love giving. It makes me feel so happy. <laughs> Would you like a gem too, little gnome? <laughs> okay, there you go. And you get a gem too. Hope you're enjoying your new home. <gasps> oh, check it out. Look at this little fairy. She's taking a nap. <laughs> Let's leave her a crystal for when she wakes up. Sleep tight, little fairy. <laughs> That was so much fun being a fairy with you today. We got to pet some animals and feed them lunch. Oh, we got to mine for gems and we paid in a fairy house. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Wait. I forgot to grant one more wish. Mine. Hmm. Oh, I would like to ride this merry-go-round. Mika's here with the plan. Your fairy wish is my command. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at the El Sereno Community Garden in Los Angeles, California. Here, people come together from the community to practice gardening together. Oh, I bought some food scraps from home to compost. Have you ever composted before? <laughs> That's sort of like when you recycle to protect our earth. Mm -hmm. And the best part, we get to go digging in the dirt. Ready? Come on, let's go. Whoa, look at these colorful signs. Oh, they're greetings in different languages, welcoming us to the garden. Aw, oh, thank you, signs. It's a pleasure to be here. Wow, check out all these plants. <laughs> there are too many to even count. And look, they're all in the dirt. 
That's where they get their nutrients, from the soil. Do you know what other nutrients plants need to grow? <gasps> That's right, sunlight and <sighs> fresh air and lots of water. You can water them yourself, or sometimes when it rains, they get plenty of water so you don't have to. <laughs> Oh, plants need lots of space to grow, too. Oh, this garden looks very spacious, which means there's plenty of space for plants to grow. <laughs> okay, friends, let's keep exploring. Hey, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mika. I'm Erica. Welcome to the El Sereno Community Garden in Otsunga, the place of the roses. Nice. In the Tongva language, can you say Otsunga? Otsunga. Nice. <laughs> uh, are you here to compost? Yes, I am. Perfect. I have my eggshells and my avocado and my banana peels. Excellent. <laughs> uh, let me show you Great. Uh, what to do. And on the LA compost method of uh, composting, there's three boxes. You uh -huh. add. Uh, your food scraps here, and then you put a layer of browns, uh, which is dry leaves or mulch, mm -hmm. on top of your kitchen scraps, okay. which are your greens, mm -hmm. even though the banana is not green. But, <laughs> no, those but, are yellow. <laughs> <laughs> and so you put greens and browns, greens and browns, and you make sure the brown layer stays on top. Mm -hmm. And then once it gets filled, you move it to the next one, and then you shift it and add water, and then you move it to the next one, and then you shift it, and you add, add water. water. <laughs> and then at the end, it looks like this. Whoa, check it out. So the compost pile, when it's ready to sift, mm -hmm. you look, if you look inside, there's bugs and worms and oh. roly polies. Oh, yes. And everywhere. What do the bugs do? They decompose the soil, the matter, the brown matter, oh. and make it into fertile soil. Mm, decomposing means you break something down. So once it's finished breaking down, uh -huh. we take a handful and we bring it to the sifter. And then the, the sifter, you take out the big brown things that don't fill through the holes. Mm -hmm. And then you keep the worms. If you find any worms, uh -huh. you uh, put them back. Oh, put them back. Hello, Because worms. they're our friends. <laughs> and then we put them back in the soil so they can continue making soil. And uh, the one that's sifted that goes through is ready to plant to plant new plants. Oh, awesome. I'm going to go plant on the other side of the garden. You want to join me later when you're finished composting? Sure. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> OK, let's get started. OK, here I go. Our Earth is a wonderful host. I love to help her through compost. We'll compost this and we'll compost that with some food and plant scraps. Whoa, awesome. Okay, let's head over to this big pile of dirt. Scoop up some dirt and maybe some worms too. Okay, three, two, one, sift off. Sift, sift, sift. Oh, check out these worms. Did you know earthworms have taste buds all over their bodies? <laughs> Okay. Wow. Let's go find Erica to see if she needs help planting. <gasps> I've got it. Let's wiggle over like a worm. Ready, worms? Here we go. Wiggle, wiggle, squish, squish. Hi, Erica. Hi, Mika. <laughs> what are you planting? I'm planting some hummingbird sage, some narrow leaf milkweed, and some lettuce. Oh, I'd like to help. Yes. Did you bring the compost? Oh, yes. It's right here. Perfect. You're going to need it. <laughs> so you make a hole, but the size of the roots and the size of your fist, you take the plant out of the pot and be careful with the roots. Look at that. Oh, look at all those roots. And you plant them nice and gentle in the hole, and then you give a nice warm hug with the compost. There we go, little plant. These are for the pollinators. <gasps> oh, I know what that is. That's when certain animals fly from plant to plant. 
the pollen gets on their body, then they fly to the other plant and it helps the plants grow. Do you know what kind of animals are pollinators? That's right! Buzz, buzz, buzz! <laughs> Bees and hummingbirds and butterflies and bats too. That's right. And you want to know what else is a pollinator? I'll give you a hint. They're red and black. Can you guess what a pollinator is? Ladybug? That's right. Look, there's one right here. Oh, look at that ladybug. So sweet. <laughs> Did you know ladybugs are male as well? Mm -hmm. Despite the name, they're male and female. In you go. Thank you. How about here? Now that I'm done planting, I'd like to try something else. Oh, can we harvest? Yes, you can. You can harvest whatever is ready and ripe. Ready and ripe, got it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh. I have a plan. Let's gather up some fruits and vegetables for a salad. Oh, these would be great. Check it out. These are Filipino limes. They're ready when they're yellow instead of green. <laughs> okay, lime, let's go. Here we go. We have two limes. <laughs> Ooh, flowers. Wow, look at this tree. Wonder what it is. Oh, I know. It's guava. <laughs> you can tell a fruit is ripe if it falls to the ground. That means we're ready. <laughs> Get some guava for our salad. Mmm, that smells good. Okay, let's find some more food for our salad. Yum! Cocoa plum. Let's pick one for our salad. <laughs> Look, it's so little. And it's one of my favorite colors, purple. <laughs> Check it out over here. <gasps> I see another fruit. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's a watermelon. Wow, I've never seen one this small before. This will be delicious in my salad. Ooh, an orange tree. But these oranges aren't quite ready. You know how I know? <laughs> yeah, they're still green. Not ripe yet. Okay, oranges, I'll see you later when you're ready. <gasps> Look! <laughs> A really big cactus. This can go into a salad, but no thank you, cacti. I think I'll move on. Yummy! Strawberries. Should we put strawberries in our salad? <laughs> yeah! One strawberry, two strawberries. Hmm. Oh, check it out. Kale. I would like some of this for my salad too. <laughs> I know. Let's make a salad for Erica to thank her for showing us this lovely garden. Here we go. Hello, Erica. Hi, Mika. We made you a delicious salad. Yummy, what's in it? We have watermelon and guava and strawberry and kale. Yummy, I'm gonna <laughs> have it for lunch. <laughs> Mika, can you help me with one more thing? Yes, I'm happy to help. I need to spread seeds out uh, so we can uh, harvest some flowers. This is Arroyo Lupin, it's beautiful purple bloom. Mm. Oh, that's one of my favorite colors. Now, when we spread the seeds, we have to sing to them, twinkle, twinkle, little star, because we believe the seeds are the stars of the earth. Oh. Can you help me? Yes. Perfect, roll out your hand. I'm gonna give you some seeds. Thank you. And we'll get seeds and we'll start singing and wishing them love. You ready? Yes. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. 
up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, that was Thank so you, fun. Mika. Thank you. Yes, you're Come so back welcome. anytime. Okay, bye bye. 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 That was awesome. We did a great job composting with those worms, planting in a garden, and harvesting some yummy fruit and vegetables for a salad. What a great, beautiful day. I hope you had fun too. <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, friend, see you later. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone, let's make a learning fun. Mika, Mika, so much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout.